Hey everybody, Tall Family Films here. Something really annoying happened this week. I went to the car wash on Saturday, and um, after I left the car wash, I went to turn the air conditioner on, and it sounded like there was water in the inside blower for the air conditioner. And there was. So my suspicion was the water that was coming down the windshield of the car wash was going into the cowl. That's the space in between your hood and your windshield, the little has some vents on it usually, and that it was filling up in there and unable to drain. My suspicion is there had to be a drain in there, but it wasn't draining where it was supposed to. So I needed to get inside there and take a look. So I have a, uh, a little tool here for removing trim. Um, it removes pins just like this. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but this was step one in getting the cowl off just to go remove this the plastic pins that hold the rubber seal on. Okay, so now we need to remove the windshield wipers. There's just two nuts, 14 millimeter. They're underneath a plastic cap. I strongly suggest you invest in a trim removal tool set. I'll put a link to this also in the description, but you wanna remove plastic with plastic and um, anything that you can not use metal on is good. So 14 millimeter socket, using a Milwaukee power ratchet, great tool. All right, so you just simply pull on the windshield wipers. They've been on for a long time, right? Years they've usually been on, so you gotta kinda shake them a little bit, you know, break the, uh, the seal that's been established for them, and you'll just pull them right off. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to remove, there's one clip, one on the driver's side, just a little plastic clip, you just pull up on it. Um, there's an identical one on the passenger side as well. So once these clips are up, then all we have to do is remove the cowl uh, clips that are connected like where the windshield is along the top of the cowl and that's done by simply pulling up on the cowl just like you're seeing here you just pull straight up there's four clips on each side of the cowl and they do come come apart in sides as well you'll see that here in just one second some things just take patience. Remember, this stuff is old and brittle, so don't go just pulling without seeing exactly what you're pulling on. All right, here's our problem. I think this is why I was getting water inside the cabin. And here, a lot of leaves have gathered that just made their way through the cowl. So I'm gonna scoop all this stuff out. Wow, it's a lot. Holy crap. Okay, let's take a closer look, um, maybe down at where the drain actually is for the water to come out of this thing. Oh, there's the drain. Well, look at that. I can certainly see why water wasn't getting out very well. So let's pull that crap out of there. That looks a lot better. All right, I think we can get water through there. We'll test that in just a second to make sure that we actually can. Okay, let's go over to the driver's side, see what it looks like. Got to get the cowl off of this side first. Wow, this is quite a leaf collection we've got going here on both sides of this thing. So, uh, looks like the entire bottom of this drain is completely clogged up. So, we're going to get a pick to clean that out. If you don't have a pick, you probably could use a uh, flat blade screwdriver um, as well. When you're done cleaning that stuff out, um, go ahead and suck it all up with a shop vac. And then, uh, just for fun, I wanted to see where the car drained out, so I guarantee you, yours drained somewhere. So I just set the hose in here, kind of running not full blast, so that just a little bit of water would build up, and then I went down here uh, to see where it was actually leaking out of, and mine comes out right behind the fender on in the wheel well. So there's a little hole right here, you can see it. 
Okay, so now we just put everything back together. Pretty, pretty easy job to do. So just snap the cowl back down on both sides. I don't suggest you take off the windshield wiper hose. Um, it doesn't need to come off. You have plenty of slack in it for doing this entire job. So push the pins, this is just doing everything in reverse, push the pins back down in the back and then we put the rubber seal on. Notice this little lip on the seal right here. So that seal needs to be pointing towards the windshield. The strip won't go on backwards. You'll know if you didn't get that right. So take a good look at it, make sure you got the lip facing the windshield and then you just start snapping it back in. And you remember the little clips that go on each side of the cowl. So don't forget to go put those back on too. So, and they're very simple to snap back in. Okay, so windshield wipers. Um, you simply put them in place. Um, it might be easier for you to bend them up before you tighten them down. One thing that you're going to see me do on the passenger side, which uh, you should do on both sides, it's just not on camera here, is when you're putting the windshield wipers back on, lay them flat first so that you can see where they are on the windshield. There's some little teeth on the gears where you're attaching the wiper, so you will. Uh, there's only like certain positions that it can be fastened down in, so you need to make sure that it's properly placed on the windshield before you tighten the nut down. So you just lay it down, make sure that you know where you're putting it is where you would want it to be. Otherwise, the windshield wiper will be laying on the cowl and tightened down in that position, and that would obviously be a big racket uh, every time you turn it on. So um, that's what I'm doing here, just making sure that it's in the proper placement of where I want it, and then I go to tighten the, the nut down. Hold the wiper, by the way, when you go to tighten it because um, when you go to tighten the nut, the wiper tries to move um, from one of the teeth that it's on. So, all right, uh, the last thing, um, put the caps back on and then you need to make sure the windshield wipers are actually working. So hop in the truck, spray the windshield, make sure that they actually function like they should. Make sure your wiper doesn't fall off. That would be unfortunate for sure. Okay, so if this video helped you, you could really help me by subscribing to my channel. It really does make a difference. I really appreciate it. And if you liked this particular video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.